Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will learn what Dravet Syndrome is, the signs and symptoms of Dravet Syndrome, complications from Dravet Syndrome, and treatment options for Dravet Syndrome. Dravet syndrome, also known as severe myoclonic epilepsy of infancy, is a rare form of retractable epilepsy that begins in infancy. 70 to 80 percent of people with Dravet syndrome have a mutation in their SCN1A gene. SCN1A, also known as sodium channel voltage gated channel alpha subunit 1 is responsible for making one part the alpha subunit of a sodium channel called NAV 1.1 which are located in the brain. To diagnose Dravet syndrome doctors will take a blood draw and see if there are any mutations in the SCN1A gene. Labs may also scan to see if there are mutations in the SCN2A GABRG2 and PCDH19 genes. Also, along with looking for mutations, seizure history, EEG testing, and a neurological examination are all taken into consideration before making an official diagnosis. Dravet syndrome is often first detected between five and eight months of age due to seizure activity. Common seizure triggers are infections, body temperature, flashing lights, and stress. Hemiclonic seizures are often the first signs of Dravet syndrome. A hemiclonic seizure produces jerky movement on one side of the body and may occur in clusters. Status epileptus is common for children with Dravet syndrome. As they become older and go into adulthood, seizures continue but status epileptus becomes less frequent. Symptoms such as speech impairment, crouch gait, hypotonia, lack of coordination, and impaired dexterity are evident. Dravet syndrome can severely impact not just the life of the person, but their families as well. People with Dravet syndrome often deal with the following. Prolonged and frequent seizures, behavioral and developmental delays, movement and balance issues, orthopedic conditions, delayed language and speech issues, growth and nutrition issues, sleep difficulties, chronic infection, sensory integration disorders, and dysautonomia. Dysautonomia is known as disruptions in the autonomic nervous system, resulting in difficulty regulating body temperature, heart rate, and blood pressure. According to the University of California at San Francisco, medication is prescribed beginning with what has worked for most patients. Medications that are first-line treatment for patients are clobazam, valproic acid, and topriamate. If first-line treatments fail, stirapentol and levetiracetam are used. Medication that people with Dravet syndrome should avoid are carbamazepine, oxcarmazepine, lamotrigine, phenytoin, and vigabatrin. Epidolix, which is a purified form of CBD oil, was approved by the FDA in 2018 for Dravet syndrome. A vagus nerve stimulator is an option when medication is not enough. The keto diet, a high fat, low carb diet, can also be used to treat Dravet syndrome. In conclusion, Dravet syndrome is a rare form of retractable epilepsy that begins in infancy. 70 to 80% of people with Dravet syndrome have a mutation in the SCN1A gene. Along with having seizures, many with Dravet syndrome face challenges with behavior, developmental, and speech delays. While medications are prescribed, other treatment options such as VNS and keto diet can be used to treat Dravet syndrome. Many people with Dravet syndrome rely on family and caregivers. To learn more about Dravet syndrome, check out the resources used in our presentation today. 
please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos on our channel and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.